Greetings citizens, and welcome back to the Hidden Dagger Inn. My name is Peon, for those of you who don't know me, and we're just going to jump right into this, so let's get right to it, guys. Ready to work. As a pre-Alpha 2 tester for Ashes of Creation, I can hardly believe we're just one week away from the NDA being lifted on October 25th. After years of anticipation, the opportunity to finally share my experiences, insights, and knowledge with the glorious Ashes community is almost here. For many of us, this moment is monumental. Being able to talk openly about anything new that we experience in the game when the NDA drops and helping everyone learn the game in ways that's going to elevate their own adventure, I can't wait to dive into conversation with all of you and the questions that you might have. I sincerely hope that everyone is excited about Alpha 2 and the Phase 1 release as I am. That being said, it's important to remember to stay grounded and keep the Phase 1 goals in mind. Alpha testing is not about perfection. It's about helping Intrepid mold the world of Vera to the way it's destined to become. So if we all go into this with realistic expectations, no one should be disappointed. Simply getting the chance to see the world of Vera with your own eyes and begin your own journey should be exciting enough. For anyone who's been waiting patiently for this game, and with every patch Intrepid releases, you'll witness improvements firsthand, knowing that this is just the beginning. Don't forget, you're going to get much farther in this game with friends. So if you're looking for a guild, come check out that awesome guild that I've had the privilege of being part of at Overlord. I will leave the link below in the description. You know, and a special shout out to Intrepid's team is absolutely necessary here. From Steven Sharif to the hardworking interns behind the scenes, they have been busting their asses getting things ready for October 25th. Being an old fart, I've had the privileges of being part of many Alpha projects over the years. But this development team has been very different. Their level of transparency and openness is something that we would never get from other studios. They've shared things that most companies would keep hidden behind curtains. And it's something that, as a community, we should embrace fully. While being so open, it has its drawbacks, but the positives of the transparent style outweigh the negatives. And I wouldn't be surprised if more studios start jumping on the bandwagon and starting to adopt this approach in the future. Now, as we gear up for October 25th, I know that there's going to be people who have nothing better to do with their time than hate on Ashes of Creation. I'm looking at you, Reddit. It's easier to be negative these days, especially when we've been burned by other companies. I totally get it and understand. But this studio is different, and the world is about to see that firsthand. So, those of you who labeled Ashes of Creation a scam or claimed its dishonest practices are going to be backtracking soon enough. Some may even wait for the alpha phases to complete, but you can bet that those would be the same people that will be paying for a sub on the first month when the game comes out. For those of us who are going to be joining the Phase 1 on October 25th and November 8th respectively, leave a comment below on what in Vera you're most excited to see and do. Lastly, I wanted to take a moment to thank everyone who has supported my channel here at the Hidden Dagger Inn. We hit over a thousand subscribers about a month ago and I'm genuinely grateful to every single one of you. Your support has meant the world to me and I'm pretty sure I speak for all content creators when I say that one nice comment really keeps us motivated and it really outweighs any of the negative hate that we might receive and do receive. Over the last seven months, I've made incredible friends with other content creators and community members, and it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm excited to finally bring you actual gameplay footage and break it down for everyone, showing you what we're experiencing inside the game, and you can also catch me on Twitch TV when I'm streaming it. This journey has been challenging, learning how to do YouTube and make videos, but my passion for Ashes of Creation has kept me going, and as, as I search for topics that would try to keep your guys' interest in the community. So buckle up, boys and girls, grab your tickets and popcorn, because this train's pulling out next week, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it with all of you. See you in Vera on October 25th. Take care, all. Work complete.